Okay, so they say only you can prevent forest fires, but I guess you gotta worry about your bike too. You gonna go around popping your bike off the rev limiter and start a fire like this guy? Well, that's really not in the woods, but anyway, so if we're gonna play nice, we gotta get a spark arrestor for the bikes. So we got Evan over here, and for his 150R, these do not come with spark arrestor, obviously. It's competition bike, competition bikes don't come with spark arresters. But if you look at any four-stroke exhaust, they are incredibly expensive. So if you want a spark arrestor, but don't wanna spend for an exhaust system, well, we're gonna try the next best thing. We have a new exhaust piece that you put on the end, so we're gonna drill and rivet out the end of his exhaust. Then we're gonna put a cone in. And what's interesting though, is you've got this opening in here and it has some other inserts. And we're gonna try putting in some of the more closed off inserts because this bike's loud. Yeah, it's, loud. it's like, right? It's really loud. Pop is, pop is loud too. So while it's fine for a racetrack that it's loud, we're a multi-use family. We're on trails, we're on people's personal property. So we want to tone it down a little bit. Um, outside, the wind is blowing, it's hailing, it's horrible. So a decibel check won't do me any good. So we're just going to swap it out. We'll get your opinion, my opinion, and maybe that guy's opinion. Maybe him. Maybe, just maybe him. Maybe him. You look a little, a little small for that. Once it's in motion, the weight disappears, right? <laughs> what? Okay, so step one, pretty simple. We're going to just take the plastics off and pull the exhaust off right there at the factory clamp then we can work with this on a table while we drill out these rivets. This thing's not that old, it should pop off. Yeah, so, I don't think the end can wants to come off, they use sealant. So we're just we don't want this anymore, so we're, we're drilling a hole. Get leverage so we can yeah. pull it out. Put a bolt in there and out, out you come. Oh, they got fiberglass all the way in the cone. That's kind of interesting. Oh, you got through. Okay, put the camera down for a second. Drilled a hole, put leverage in, pulled that out. That was tight. Fiberglass in there. And we got a hacksaw this part off. And we've got a party going on, so. Kind of like a bike show in here, showing off all the bikes and everything going on. So that's what this channel is. This is why we're not sponsored. We're not. <laughs> we're not professional enough. We we're just some guy. Dang, three blades. <laughs> no, man. I need to bring you another one. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Dan had to run to the hardware store because around this end cap. If I was reading the instructions right, we need a little high temp silicone. We're gonna put that on here and insert that back in. Then we're gonna put this end cap on, but we're gonna have to drill holes, but we'll get that done. And then at the end, you have two sizes. Look at our table, it's a mess. You have a big and small hole. And since again, we do do writing on private property, we're gonna start with the small one. Now, one of the things about the 150R is the carburetor is really, really jetted for upper RPMs. Like, it wants to be running, like, way up there. Down low, it's very cold-blooded. Can even bog a little bit. I'm hoping, actually, that a little bit of restriction of the smaller one might clean up his bottom end for him if I'm thinking about it right. Um, I could be thinking about that process completely wrong, but we're gonna see how this works. Um, and so if we get a benefit, a little better sound, a little better down low torque with the extra back pressure, that will be good. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so upon reading the instructions, we put this tubing adapter on the pipe. So we put that on, then I'm dropping it in here and it'll seat into a spot. So now that it's set, now we gotta cut this so it's flush with the core. You can see it's not very much, but we gotta cut this just a little bit more flush. Okay. That's seated in there. Now, we got the high temp silicone. It's a little sloppy, but we got the silicone on. So now we're gonna put that into the end cap and we're gonna start drilling holes through this outer core so that then we can put the rivets in. That ain't coming out once we get it sucked in. That's it. 
Boom. Okay, we're gonna turn the camera off while we redo that a whole bunch of times. Okay, so watch how easy this is. Uno. Dos. Okay, see? <laughs> Mechanical and Spanish language in lessons in one day. <laughs> All right, see? I'm telling you. Well, I know how to count. Uh... Stick around here. We're going places. I like it. That looks hey, nice. You like it? Yeah. Come on. Gonna this it's like done. It, yeah. That's done, bro. Okay, start it. Now. Hurry. 14% battery. And it's ticking. Pump it. Okay, so that's it. Um, everybody has abandoned me. They're inside eating uh, birthday dinner, whatever we're having for dinner tonight for my dad's birthday. But anyway, so we didn't go out and ride it, but I can tell you right now from being around that bike um, as much as I have, it kind of just took that pop, that harsh pop away from it, but it's still pretty loud and it's no doubt a high compression uh, four stroke race bike. If I had to bet, I would tell you that the lower RPMs were probably lost three to four decibels. Um, you know, so for every 10 decibels, you double in volume. So by no means did we lose 50%. So I'm more so around the lines of a three to four decibel decrease, but got the benefit of a spark arrestor, a little bit quieter now for private property and is a hell of a lot cheaper than buying a full blown exhaust. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you've got a 150R and need to get a spark arrestor in it, want to save some money, highly recommended. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep riding and we'll see you next time. You did something. Oh, was that you were picking your nose? No, I just had to do this. You picked your nose on YouTube. Oh, I did. Oh my God! No. <laughs>